My name is Sakam Jongpongan. I am 21 years old. I am Guviti Lutilo and I'm a teacher. Hi, I'm Gejo Sano Kiki, uh, based in Kohima, uh, advocate by profession and currently practicing under the Guwahati High Court Kohima bench. My name is Im Kong. I originally belong to Mohokchung district, the district which is also known as the Our Country. My name is Kaneli Kiho. I'm from Sumi community and I live in Dimapur. My name is Tinu. I am from Kohima. Do you think the Naga ancestral remains should be repatriated and why? Uh, let me be honest. For someone who associates relics with history and the academic value it holds, I have to admit my initial reaction was rather lukewarm. The reluctance arose from a preconceived notion about museums and how I have always associated museums with preservation besides the obvious challenge of safekeeping objects of such great value. I was like, we don't have the infrastructure or the resources. My questions were, where do we keep them safely? How do we keep them? Do we have the house? Do we have the infrastructure? Do we have the building? Do we have the resources? My other questions emerged from a perceived paradox in the stated objective of the project. On one hand, we are making a political statement a symbolic unshackling from a mindset shaped by the philosophy of a colonial past, while on the other, ignoring the far-reaching impact of another colonial legacy called Christianity, which in my opinion is paradoxical. But if you ask me, should the remains be brought back? My answer is a yes, bring them back. Strictly speaking from a historical point of view, I would want them to be preserved for posterity, for our children, for the future. Yet since it involves human ancestral remains, let the community or the village from where it was taken, or rather stolen, take the call. Yes, I believe that the Naga remains should be brought back uh, because uh, being a Naga, uh, we respect and love our dead body and th that is uh, to give a dignified ritual and burial is a bare minimum of being a naga for example in the village if one of the e even when one of the uh, lowest person someone considered to be the lowest person died uh, the whole villagers they keep aside their work and uh, they respect they pay their respect to the dead so uh, that is the essence of our identity and I believe that it is only necessary that we brought our remains back and give them a dignified burial. Uh, I think it should be brought back because every human deserves a respectful burial and they are our ancestors. So we should bring the remains and we should you know, pay proper respect and give a good burial to them. Yes, the remains of our Naga ancestors should definitely be brought back. Our forefathers had a belief and they followed certain rituals to give peace to the spirit of the dead, that unless they bury the dead in a proper dignified manner, the spirits face unrest which passes on to their descendants. Our ancestors should be accorded a respectable burial in their own motherland. To think of the remains, the once brave warriors of the Naga soil, the protectors and keepers of the land, to be held on display in a land unfamiliar to them for more than a century, is deeply disturbing on an emotional, spiritual and physical level. I believe that this process of repatriation to retrieve the ancestral remains from a foreign land is only the beginning to healing of the land and our people. Personally, I think uh, it should be because um, the ancestral remains that have failed to find their peace and home, if, if they are brought back, you know, they can find the, uh, the, the closure that uh, the deaf, the, the spiritual realm is looking for. And that's one thing why it's also important to bring them back home and also to give them the, the respect and the dignity and the dignified uh, Rit ritualistic practice that we as indigenous community believe and 
uh, have a lot of uh, customs uh, that we often uh, follow when uh, when when some of our ancestors passed away, uh, and 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 I think they rightly deserved that kind of respect from all the communities. So that's that is one thing why I think the remains should be brought back to Nagaland where they rightly belong. Um, yes, I do think that the remains should be brought back. There are certain um, infrastructural and other practical questions that we must take into concern. Um, however, I think that in, break, in bringing these um, remains back, there is a certain um, symbolic recl reclamation of power that happens. Um, even though it might be very minuscule in whatever magnitude, we might send, like, you know, feel that sense of um, reconcilement. I think bringing them back as an act itself, uh, it will change the psyche of the people. Um, there's a certain, I think, um, yeah, uh, confrontation of the past, but also a certain uh, uh, sense of um, making peace with the past that comes with such acts. So yes, I do think that the remains should be brought back.